Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23526. And in this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, with this build, Microsoft is providing ISOs, so you can just go into the official Microsoft website, select the edition, the dev channel, confirm. We're going to have to select the product language, for example, English United States, confirm, and then the ISO will be offered to you. Also in this build, Microsoft is announcing a new build expiration date also for the dev channel build, which is the 16th of 9th, 2024. And of course, you need to make sure you are updated to the latest build from the dev channel because uh, the previous builds will soon expire. Regarding the start menu in this build, for files that do not have rich thumbnail previews that can be provided, it no longer shows a blank preview preview area. This is a part of the work for rich thumbnail previews tooltips for cloud files on start that began rolling out with build 23511. Regarding casting, building off the cast improvements introduced with build 23516, Microsoft updated the cast flyout in quick settings with additional support for you in case you face any trouble discovering nearby displays, fixing connections and more. Regarding the narrator app, Microsoft has done a few changes and a few improvements. For example, they changed the default verbosity level from 2 to 3, which will now announce immediate content name and type and also narrator users are unblocked for typing traditional Chinese characters in Windows by addition of traditional Chinese dictionary for detailed reading and there are also some improvements for narrator with Braille that you can check out in the article below in the video's description and we also have some changes inside the settings app for example now the development section from the personalization device usage page in settings app has now a proper icon this was discovered by Phantom Mission 3 and also the new settings home page now requires Windows 11 to be activated so that you can use it so that is also a thing that was discovered by phantom ocean 3 and this is pretty much all there is to it for new changes and improvements in this build this is not such a big build as other builds from the dev channel but we also have a lot of fixes and we're going to talk about those in just a moment regarding the start menu microsoft fixed an issue that was making the system labels and starts all app list the wrong color and high contrast themes they also fix an issue where if you attempt to uninstall certain apps it would just open settings and not navigate to the installed apps page regarding taskbar and system tray microsoft fixed an issue where the taskbar wasn't loading for some insiders when logging in into their PC after installing the previous build. They also displayed the setting for uncombining taskbar buttons on other screens by default when no secondary monitors are connected. This is also pretty much a change. As you can see, this setting is now disabled if you don't have an external monitor. They also fixed an issue where if the taskbar was set to uncombined, it will still show animations even if they've been turned off. They also fixed an issue where app icons on the taskbar would become empty with no icon in recent insider builds after switching between desktop. Stops. They also fixed an issue where the hidden icon flyout might close unexpectedly when using keyboard navigation to move focus between icons. They also fixed an issue where using drag to rearrange icons in the overflow area wasn't working well when the taskbar was set to uncombined. They also fixed an issue where the new bell icon might be difficult to see in some cases where it was using a dark outline when your taskbar was dark. They also fixed an issue where if you had enabled the end task option in the taskbar, the setting wouldn't persist across upgrades. They also fixed an issue where after upgrading, the Bluetooth icon in the system tray might not displaying the system tray after upgrade even though your PC supported Bluetooth and the Bluetooth options were shown in settings. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed a high hitting explore.exe crash when launching or interacting with file explorer in the last couple of flights. They also fixed an issue where using the reset folders button folder options could cause explore.exe to crash. They fixed an issue where the chevrons in the file explorer address bar were pointing in the right direction if your display language was set to Arabic or Hebrew. They fixed an issue where saving files to OneDrive locations in file explorer could take a long time making it seem like the app you were saving from had become unresponsive in the latest insider builds. They also fixed an issue where the context menu and drop down menus in File Explorer weren't working with touch. They also made another fix for the issue causing the context menu and drop down menu backgrounds to be transparent. They also fixed an issue where the menu shown when doing a right click drag on one of the newly supported archive formats didn't have an extract option like it does for zip files. Regarding dev drives, the Microsoft fixed an issue where dev drives might not auto mount after upgrading to a new build causing apps that tried to access them to not work, improved error messages if dev drives fail to format, fix an issue related to the use of dev drives which could cause a bug check with an invalid data trap on upgrade and then the upgrade would roll back. Regarding HDR backgrounds, they fix an issue which could cause sporadic explore.exe crashes when using an HDR wallpaper. There is also a huge list of fixes for the narrator app but I'm not gonna mention all of them because I think only those interested can see that in the article below in the video's description. Regarding input, Microsoft fix an issue where inking 
into a text field while magnifier was running was not running well as the ink was offset and we also have some other fixes for example the fixing issue where removing a monitor while connected to a cloud pc could result in a black screen with only a mouse visible in recent builds and they also made some fixes to improve how the share dialog worked with screen readers as well as addressing some other accessibility issues so this is pretty much all there is to it in this build you can check out the article below for the full list of fixes and also known issues in this build if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the techbase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'm Zimari from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.